Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. Here I've got a lovely 2010 Porsche Cayman 987 Gen 2 S. It's a Cayman S, so it's a 3.4 litre direct fuel injection engine car. Um, it's actually a, a September 2010 car, so it's actually a 2011 model year. Um, they, they start the 2011 models sort of August, September time, and this is one of those cars. So it's got the chassis number is a 2011, same as a early 2011 chassis number. Finished in absolutely glorious aqua blue metallic. Very low miles as well. Lots of lovely options, and I'll go through them on the outside first. So with it being a an S model 3.4, that means it has 320 horsepower. It's got the seven speed PDK gearbox. So that's a semi-automatic gearbox, which can be run in full manual, full auto, or a combination of two. You can just start changing gears yourself on the steering wheel, uh, sport design steering wheel, which is the optional steering wheel. Um, the direct fuel injection is the, the safe one to have because it doesn't suffer um, bore scoring, which is quite a significant issue. Um, IMS bearing failures or RMS oil seal leaks. Um, some of those issues afflict the earlier cars, the 987 Gen 1s. So anything 2009 or newer is relatively safe. And that's why we only sell these later cars, the 987 Gen 2s. And you can tell it's a 987 Gen 2 because it has LED rear tail lights, which have a pointed edge there. Um, the, the earlier cars have a squared off um, section there. Now this car has, as I said, aqua blue metallic, which is an extremely popular colour. Not many were made in this colour and they very rarely come up for sale because they look so striking, especially with the optional sport design, steer uh, sport design um, alloy wheels, which are 19 inches and they're in fabulous condition as well, finished in Arctic silver metallic. It has the uh, sports tailpipes, which means that they have a ridged edge to them. And it also has the optional um, switchable sports exhaust. So at the press of a button, it gets louder. And then when you when you turn it off, it's, it's quite quiet and docile, just like the car without a switchable sports exhaust sounds like. It has the optional rear wiper. We just bought a new blade for that. Believe it or not, that blade is um, 60 pounds from Porsche, you can't actually buy it anywhere else. The front ones you can just buy, they're just Bosch ones, um, but the rear one has to be ordered from Porsche, so we've done that. Um, also on the outside, uh, Gen 2 cars have daylight running lights, just here. Another option this car has is the third radiator. Some have it, some don't. It's called the uh, super hot country option, so it just means it stays cooler uh, much more efficiently in the summer, but even one without that radiator is perfectly fine for the UK. You won't struggle at all. It's just nice to have, just means it will stay cooler. Um, the One of the last owners fitted these um, grills to protect the air conditioning condensers and the radiators behind in those areas. There is also a center one which is going to come with a car which you can reattach yourself as well. So that's that's really nice. It's kept the air conditioning condensers in really great condition because it stopped leaves getting in there and uh, clogging them up. Otherwise you have to regularly clean those out which is not a problem it's just something else you have to add to your list of things you do to maintain this car. That's with the spoiler up, but obviously that comes up and down, that comes up and down at speed. I just love this colour, aqua blue. It looks so good on 911s and Caymans. Particularly Boxster S's also look great in it as well. Our other favoured car. Um, that's all we focus on is uh, 2009 to 2015, 911s, Caymans and Boxsters. Exactly like this, this lovely car here. So this car has the... Um, full black leather so that means the whole of the seat is is leather the uh, PDK selector steering wheel handbrake the uh, center armrest and the armrests on the doors are all leather it has the optional hardback sport seats so they have this gray finish on the back larger bolsters on the bottom and on the the sides and it has the two-way electric so the rear goes up with uh, electric the height is manual and the to pull the whole seat forward and back is is manual as well now as i said um options wise it has the sport design steering wheel which has full size metal paddles to operate the gears you can also put this in manual mode 
by putting it into drive and then sliding it across and then you can push it away to go up a gear pull it back towards you to go down a gear just like a sequential box in a in a rally car or race car um, it's a really interactive way of changing gear just like these this optional sport design one because the the paddles are instinctively exactly where you want them when you're traveling down a b road the car's only traveled 37,881 miles which is very low mileage for a cayman because they're just so practical and i'll show you the front and rear boots but that's why these cars don't mind clocking up miles and they don't suffer for it either but this is lovely that it's only got 37,881 it's got four previous owners and the next service is due in 16,600 miles or 568 days has a full porsche and porsche specialist service history and i'll go through that in a second it also has if you spotted it a lovely sony aftermarket carplay system which i'll just uh hook up to my phone so you can see how it works so it has a little plug here which you can tuck somewhere else if you want to but that's where it is at the moment and you just plug in okay so you just plug in your phone you don't need to do any pairing or anything it will just um just start working so there we go apple carplay's come up and if i select that there you go there's ways it's full touch screen so you can have um podcasts you can also have obviously um your sat nav and even radio station apps as well so there we go so this car has um, sound package plus which is nine speakers 235 watts fully amplified system it's a great system to um, for one of these Caymans um, I'm scared, I know. and there's no there's no issues with with sound quality in this car as a result it has also has lights in the vanity mirrors, in the sun blinds. There we go. Right, so yeah, um, this CarPlay system, a, a lot of people like doing this upgrade because it basically gives you full um, interactivity with your phone through the stereo, whereas the standard PCM or the, the lower grade non sat-nav system doesn't allow you to have that kind of interactivity even with the bluetooth option all you can do is do phone calls or with a separate mod a little separate module from places like amazon you can start playing your music wirelessly by connecting via bluetooth as long as it's got the audio interface which this one has there so you can use those connections to do a, a wireless car play but unfortunately you can't control it through the head unit this is the only way without um modifying the internals of a, a PCM system which is something else that's possible um, this is the sort of easiest way to uh, get full interactivity with your phone in a car of this era it has lovely um, cup holders as well as I said it has a switchable sports exhaust so let me start it up When it's cold it starts with it open and then if I press the button hopefully you'll hear it change change its pitch so it makes it quite a bit sportier sounds really great actually all the time with that with that exhaust open but um, some people like it when you're driving down a residential street to turn it off, so you can turn it off and it gets a lot quieter. Well, let me turn it back on. So here is the rear boot, absolutely huge. As I said, these are incredibly practical cars because you have that whole section there. You can fit golf clubs in there. Um, you've got that section above the engine there. You've got some cubby holes there and you've got that net which can either be used there or there um, or you can get a second one as well this section here is all um, enclosed when you close this because it's got this uh, flexible sort of fabric section that sort of hides anything that's in that area which is great and then in the front you've also got a pretty big boot as well which goes all the way to the floor down there 
and then you've got your tools all stowed here which are all the factory tools there so locking wheel bolt tire compressor towing eye set of tools with a spanner a reversible screwdriver and also a headlight adjustment tool tire gel the warning triangle in red there all that came from the factory there's an extra little storage cubby here which in older cars you would have had your sat nav system and your cd multi changer if you optioned it and then under here you have your very decent very new Bosch battery so this car runs absolutely perfectly starts perfectly as well having that updated um, battery in there but these cars just sound amazing as I said it's got the 19 inch sport design alloy wheels and it's got matching Goodyear Eagle F1 high performance tires which are all N rated N0 the rears are um, brand new discs and pads are all good round the, the s models have guards red uh, brake calipers as standard so that's got the guards red calipers the slightly bigger brakes as well uh, more powerful brakes than the non s models so that's one of the big differences of the the s model versus the the non s the 2.9 versus the 3.4 it's obviously you've got that engine which has got a lot more power um, it's around 50 horsepower more from memory so 320 horsepower it has the um, normally body colored vents but sometimes they're, they're specced in silver it has the predominantly the larger wheels but again you could spec the larger wheels on a on a non s it has the bigger brakes so which are the the guards red brakes and they typically have more options than a, a non s but you could get someone who paid for a, a non s and then specced it up a very similar spec level as an S but generally these cars are a higher specification and this car is absolutely glorious now I'll, I'll just talk you through the file while I'm here air conditioning all works fa fabulously it's also got the optional uh, heated seats and the full climate control system so you can just set a temperature and then it will adjust where to put the the fans um, and also the fan speed as well looking through the file quickly so this file we produce for every single car um, there's the full options list so aqua blue full black leather wheels so this car interestingly from the factory it had the wheels painted in aqua blue metallic which at some point someone's refurbished them which is very normal on a car of this age that the wheels have been refurbished probably twice um, on average they were actually painted aqua blue so I think that would have been a bit over the top so I guess a previous owner also thought the same and had them done in silver like most other cars but that factory code is still on the car so it's listed here Porsche crash embossed headrest so they're again optional they're not um, standard and obviously the the full black leather comes with lovely silver stitching all across the seats and the seats are in absolutely great condition as well no scuffs or rips in those uh, silver instrument dials which again is one of the things that elevates this car over a non s is those silver dials otherwise they'd be black uh, high performance summer tires n rated they're all n0 as i said pdk seat heating hardback sport seats sport design lightweight alloy wheels there's a cd storage compartment just here rear wiper uh, wheel centers with the colored porsche crests uh, the full trash control system sound package plus um, climate control um, it did have the the PCM3, but obviously this has been upgraded now to the the full Sony CarPlay system, which works with Android and Apple. Uh, and then it has an extra 12 volt socket there, as well as the the one here, so you can power phones and things with that if you're not using it with the with a cable that's been put in with the CarPlay. Uh, park Assist. It has the rear parking sensors. It has the vehicle tracking prep. Uh, Porsche floor mats which are all original and sport design leather steering wheel which is I think the favoured steering wheel in this era of cars universal audio interface and then another code to say is full leather seats um, we've done a full diagnostics with the P with 3 system which is the same as what Porsche use and this car's got excellent results so the mileage checks out with the engine hours the VIN number is confirmed on the car as well as electronically as well as the engine number the color code so nothing's been changed on this car at all 
and it's only got range one and two over revs which is the safe zones because that's just around the red line it's not above so people get worried at four five and six which really you can't actually miss shift a pdk so even if it did show those then uh, which it doesn't but even if it did Porsche say that that would be just basically an electrical glitch that's caused that and wouldn't even be a concern but this car clearly hasn't been tracked or anything like that um, it's, it was supplied September 2010 Porsche Glasgow service 2012 Porsche Leicester then service 2014 Porsche West London 2016 Porsche West London 2018 Porsche West London then 9x motorsport Porsche specialist in Maidenhead 2020 um, 2021 Maundrels, who I think sold it to one of the previous owners, they did a brake fluid change. They also did a four wheel alignment. Um, November 2022, it's had a, a Charles Charles Ivy Porsche Specialist, who are great uh, specialists um, in Surbiton. They did the most recent service, November 2022, so only five months ago, and it was a major service, including spark plugs. They checked the dry belt. They did the brake fluid, and then it's got lots of other papers as well, um, invoices as well as the full stamp service book the full manual pack with all of the manuals um, it should have so the driver's manual the quick reference guide um, as well as all the other bits in the original porsche embossed um, leather wallet so that is everything about the car i wanted to show you today if you're interested in the car please don't hesitate to get in touch thanks for watching